Hello YouTube, it's Raphael here today and this time I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server on a Mac OS X. So in my previous video you might have seen um, quite a few years ago, I made a tutorial on how to do this on Ubuntu Linux. So this time I'm going to show you how to do it on a Mac OS X. If you're using the latest version of Mac, so as you can see over here, I'm using the Sierra, I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is the version that we are using you can use any version of OS X because all we need is the craft bucket the jar and and the terminal app so let's get started so let's go over head over to a web browser I'm gonna use Safari for this tutorial and it'll do craft bucket download so here we're gonna get the jar file so head over to the first link you see that says get bucket download craft bucket so click the very first link that you see and obviously you will select your Minecraft version so I'll select the latest because we want our server to run on 1.12.1 so you'll say you're about to download and we will click that and it should save into our downloads folder as you see over here so wait for that simply wait wait for it to download and um, which it has finished so open in finder and we're going to drag in this craft bucket dot jar into our folder now I named my folder as folder craft bucket and it's located in my desktop as you see over here let me remove the windows so as you see this is the folder that I am using from for my server files so obviously you can rename it to whatever you want to but I'm just gonna call mine as folder craft bucket so it pretty much just contains your server files and we're gonna rename this so double click that and rename it to craft bucket dot jar okay so now the last thing we need to do is go over to terminal so head over to your terminal app if you if you don't have it just simply go up here and search terminal and you should find the terminal app there and you can drag it onto the dock if you want to just drag it over here okay now we're gonna go so check your um current directory so PWD for print working directory so I'm in my users folder now we want to head over to your desktop because that that is where I saved my folder at so go change directory folder craft bucket or CD so now if we do LS to list to list the files you can see it says craft bucket the jar as you see over here in the folder now we're gonna do Java dash jar craft bucket dot jar right before you do before you do that however make sure that you have um the java downloaded so head over to whoops head over to the um bucket website so go to google and do um bucket setting up a server and click the first link over here that's a setting up a server bucket wiki and you head over to the mac os x and go to this link over here so this is for if you're using Mac OS X. If you're using Windows or using Linux, simply follow my tutorials on those other two operating systems. So click this link over here under the Mac OS X um, tab, and you should click download, and it should save. It should save into your downloads folder. Since I've already I already downloaded it, so I don't have to I don't have to go through the process a second time. But um, if you if you haven't done it already, simply do that, and then you can. Enter Java this jar craft bucket the jar like I just did earlier. Now we need to accept an EULA. So as you see over here, it says fail to load EULA EULA.txt, whatever you want to pronounce it. And you have to it'll say you have to agree to it in order to run the server. So this this is this txt file over here. So what we want to do now is we want to do VIM Vim and then do eula.txt now we are gonna um, set this to true so press I on your keyboard to go to insert mode and use the arrow keys to navigate and set it to true press the ESC on your keyboard to escape edit mode and then do um, colon write and quit which is WQ in when you're using the VI editor you use W write and quit with a colon at the beginning so right and quit and let's try to run it again by doing java dash jar whoop, jar craft bucket dot jar yeah it would really help if you guys saw my um my linux tutorials that's how i 
that's how you guys can get familiar with this kind of interface. So now as you see, it is now successfully running, it is setting up our world, setting up our spawn area, and and so when we can wait for it to finish initializing, so you can maximize it to see um the to see it if you want um so wait for the spawn area to hit one hundred percent. So it can um it can take a bit for it to finish, but once it does, I will show you what 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 is next to do. Right. So as you now see, it says done. So it has finished um initializing. Let's go back to our Minecraft. So this is Minecraft for Mac OS X. We'll add a we'll um add a server and do local host. Now obviously um obviously now it will say a Minecraft server. You can change the MOTD if you want to. But once you're in, once you're inside, you can now um you have set up a Minecraft server successfully. As you can see, this is the MC world over here that that has been automatically generated for us. And if you navigate back to our terminal, it will say UUID of player blah 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 has joined. So whenever a player logs in the server, this is what will show. And but this will depending this will depend on the person's username in Minecraft. Now, however, if you want, if you were to, um, if you were to make this server public, so you want other people to join, to join your game, you will probably need to, um, port forward, in order, in order for that to happen, and you will want to give them your, um, public IP address, so that they can use it to come play on your Minecraft server. So, you can, they like, they cannot use like, let me show you. They cannot use localhost because that is they need to use your um public IP address and once you port forward your um once you port forward it and then they people from around the internet around the world can um play on your very own Minecraft server. But so setting up the server is pretty simple as you have seen over here. So I hope this tutorial wasn't too complicated for you to follow. And um this is how to set it up in Mac OS X. If you want to know how to set it up in Windows or Linux, I have linked them in the description below and you guys can check it out. So, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, hit the like button if this video helped you out. So, I'll see you um I'll see y'all.